here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, at New York State Court. This is going to be a short one. Uh, Daryl Campbell, a.k.a. Taxstone, was just sentenced to 35 years in prison for uh, the, the, the death. It was called manslaughter at trial. The death of Ronald McFadder, uh, the injuring of Troy Av and of two others. Uh, he blamed it, Daryl Campbell did, all on Troy Adams for attacking those who criticized his music. He said that he only took a gun because he felt under threat. Three victim, three family members of Mr. McFadder spoke, and the judge imposed, Judge Clot imposed 35 years. A longer report to follow, innercityrest.com. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and first and foremost, I want to once again say condolences to the entire family of Ronald Banger McFadder, who was shot at Urban Plaza in New York City in 2016 while attending the T.I. concert. And that's what this trial and this case has been based upon. Of course, others shot, were shot also, but he's the one that didn't make it out and his family is still mourning and dealing with their loss, no matter how the outcome of the case is, man, because to lose somebody you love and care about in a situation like this, that's something that you gotta live with the rest of your life. So most definitely condolences to his parents, his siblings, brothers, sisters, cousins, all nieces, nephews, any family member or anybody that was close to him who was still going through with this loss. Most definitely condolences to all of them. Now, we recently seen what they did find Tax Stone guilty, not of murder charges, but they found him guilty on the manslaughter case. And I'm gonna have the links in the description from Inner City Press and then Sean Sotero, who's actually a writer out there in New York and everything too. He was there in the courtroom and he said this, Taxstone sentenced to 35 years. I'll share, share more on its AGTV YouTube in a little while. Taxstone gave a defiant statement during the hearing. His final words were, half the stuff that was told on the stand by Troy Ave is a complete lie to protect himself from going to jail. The judge was absolutely clear in stating his belief that during the trial, Taxstone was obviously engaged in procurement of false testimony. Once it became clear that judge was going to give a very, very long sentence, that room became the quietest place I've ever been. And that is based upon some of the evidence that came out in the trial when he said that about his testimony, when they were speaking on him about reaching out to witnesses and trying to get people to convince things with phone calls. This got put out in the courtroom, not nothing I'm making up on my own and things like that. You can look that up. And that's the real life dark side of these situations. Already in your late 30s, just telling you now you got to do 35 years. And that's how it always ends when these type of things get to this point. A life was lost here. And then if I'm not mistaken, Troy Ash still has to go do some prison time. It would have been better if this situation could have been avoided. We here now. This is real time and reality. But anything to get Banger's life back, this man getting 35 years, I'm pretty sure it could have been traded and avoided of just who talking noise on Twitter or online. Egos getting in the way. We all humans, we all lose our temper at times, bro. But taking a man life or another man feeling like he got to protect his life, we got to avoid them type of situations, bro. I'm going to come on here all the time and speak against that type of stuff. Tex Stone was headed to be in one of the top podcasters in the game, would have been a millionaire right now. Troy Am was doing his thing on the independent side of the music. Bangle was their supporter, friend, down loyal dude for Troy Am. I'd rather this be avoided and niggas talk like men, but our egos get in the way at times as men. How we move, how we talk, we can't let this stuff go on no more, bro. Niggas can say whatever they want about Ant, you coming on here speaking. Look here, bro, I'm going to tell y'all like this, dog. I'm going to talk against this every time because a life could have still been here, bro. His life was more valuable than a disagreement and an argument and him being shot and killed in this situation. Our lives is better than the prison system, bro. All the gangster talk, the tough talk, it sound cool in that moment. But when it get real for that prison time, that's when niggas start thinking differently. And here we go again with this situation. I keep y'all updated on everything, man. Condolences and prayers to Banger's entire family once again. Tell me what y'all think, man. And they live on AGTV right now where y'all can check that out. Shout out to them, Sean Sotero, and all the other reporters there, man. 1,000. Stay on your pivot.